Well, that's the, the hardest part of my life and continues to be the hardest part. You know, I never go into any crisis management. I never, you know, never thought about something like that. And when it happened, you know, the whole world collapsed for me. Um, to receive a phone call and say, uh, we've lost an aircraft. And, uh, you know, you just, in many jobs, you don't have people's lives in your hands, but you suddenly realize you actually do. And um, so, you know, when I went into the crisis center and people, people said, um, you don't have to go, an Indonesian airline, uh, let the Indonesian team handle it. And I was like, are you crazy? You know, we can't just take the good. Uh, I'm the leader of the company, I'm the brand, I have to be there for the families. They have to know that the most senior person in the company is there, and I uh, have to be there for the staff. So, um, you know, it was against the advice of all the professionals. I just went out to Surabaya, and I personally met every single family, and I gave my mobile phone number, and, uh, you know, as soon as I arrived, I could hear there were like a million TV cameras, and everyone was like, you know, Tony's here, Tony's here, and I said, I go and see the families first. And, um, you know, as I said, I met every single one, and it's, you can't put into words, you know, how can you do that? But um, you just gotta do what's right. And what was right was for me to be there, not, not hide behind lawyers. And, uh, and that's a value, you know, transparency and honesty is really important to me. And uh, you can't just take the praise. Um, so we, it was my decision to go out there and I did it.